This video will demonstrate removing a separated instrument using the SP2 tip. Number one, visualize the instrument. You have to be able to see the instrument to be able to get it out. Two, create a staging platform if you need to. The best way to do this is using a Gates Glidden, flatten it off with a Joe Dandy disc, and create a flat staging platform right on top of the instrument. Step three, trough around the instrument using the SP2. Do not touch the instrument with the ultrasonic tip. Try and just trough around the side of the instrument circumferentially, creating a nice circular trough around the instrument. Then, using the side of the SP2 tip, not the tip, use the side of the tip to vibrate the instrument out. Do not touch the tip with, to the end of the instrument. Here you can see the SP2 vibrating along the side of the instrument. Here's a separated instrument case. So the first thing we're going to do is get visualization of the instrument. And here you can see we've used the gates, gone down to the instrument. Now we can see it clearly. Now we are creating the troughing groove around the instrument, trying not to touch the instrument at all. This can be done wet because you can actually feel the, inst the separated instrument with the SP2. Now you can see we've created a troughing groove around the separated instrument circumferentially. And now all we really need to do is place the side of the SP2 alongside the instrument and it will vibrate up. In slow motion, you can see actually how it works. This is usually done with water. Uh, you don't want to heat up the instrument, but you do not use the tip. You use the side of the instrument, and most of the time the instrument will vibrate uh, right up. And here you can see the canal has not been hollowed out unnecessarily, and the instrument is removed. The products we used on this case were the SP2 ultrasonic tip and the 19 and 12 millimeter photographic mirrors.